so Germany versus port. That's interesting. That's definitely very port favored. Well, that, that would be on EP. This is RE, so this might actually be German favored, I think. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually quite German favored. Uh, this is actually like insanely German favored. Like on Germany. E on EP, yeah. like definitely port, but on RE, mm -hmm. Germans are like on the third best sim in the game. On a yeah. TP map, that is. And this yeah. map has and that, enough TPs to make this worthwhile. Yeah, no kidding. And I mean, like, what can Sansa do here? Like, take parts the, are so slow on our E. <laughs> I mean, if you can take the TP line before Germany can, then... Yeah, but even then, like, okay, I've, I've played a lot of ports, and like, on our E, holy crap, like, even, like, even Stagecoach, ATP, you're, like, so slow, and you have, like, no eco, even though you have Stagecoach, because you have, like, 15 bills, because you can't <laughs> afford to make any. <laughs> I mean, perhaps he can put his... Uh, his T Ford TC like at that mine in between those two uh, those two trade posts and secure both of them, maybe. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. It's I think this as is... as port on RE especially against, but uh, like just generally against Germany, you need to have your TC securing your second and third hunts. Like you can't have it digging around anywhere else on the map. Let me give him a tip. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Derek and Classic. I love it. Hey, it's legit. Yeah. I think it'd actually work, potentially. Because Germany can be pretty weak against uh, early pressure, and they start Cav. So, yeah. 36 Musket versus, <laughs> uh, like, a 5 Ulan semi could, could potentially be okay. Yeah. Unless it's scouted oh. and he adapts. Yeah. I don't actually think 36... Does 36 musk? I don't think it actually works on RE. I think it only works on EP. But... I've done it before. I've gotten a full 36. Usually my macro isn't good enough and I get like 34. Mm. Okay. So you can get the numbers. It's just a, ma a matter of whether or not the person scouts it and mm, right. if, yeah. if, if they react correctly. Mm -hmm. If it's not scouted though and it's up against like a, f a fortress civilization that will either make it uh, fast fortress or like you know, only five calves semi. You can wreck yeah. them. Yeah, that's very true. Unless they get colonial militia, which just sucks ass. Mm hmm Looks like, uh... Sanson here is kind of going towards the top bit. Like, I don't know how much you know about this map, but, um, the good treasures always spawn, like, here, here, and then, like, in the dick bit <laughs> and, then, and then like on either side of this tp line so that's um yeah definitely yeah it looks like sanson's gonna come across the 90 wood and uh, that's pretty good yeah musket said please oh my god <laughs> well, it looks like we're gonna have a nice little treasure contention um musket he must have seen it like what's <laughs> there we go he is turning around oh i think he realizes that sanson is there he does now. Oh, he can oh, totally he's just gonna stand here, yeah. And Sanson can't necessarily can't win this explorer fight because um. Oh my God, he's just gonna leave it, and Musket's gonna have his crack shot up in a second. <laughs> if Musket can manage to get it up, he will use it. Yeah. Uh, Sanson putting that down that TP. Um, yeah, I guess he did get ninety wood. He does have a house. So I guess he just didn't do market with this coin. I suppose that's all right. Oh, I bet we're going to see Saloon play coming from Muskin, actually. <laughs> yeah, and so, you know, stealing the 90 wood treasure is always good. Just a little bit of, a little bit of tilt for your opponent. A little bit sad that Musk isn't checking up here for these uh, treasures, like the 100 food and the 80 coin and stuff, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I guess a lot of players just avoid that area. <laughs> yeah, I know. I had it. I had it um, versus versus Noel in like the round of thirty-two in the second chance tourney. Um, so I like practiced this map for a bit. Yeah, I mean, when I was playing Sue because I was like, oh yeah, I can just run up and get all the treasures. Okay, Funny so, played Brit. So and he kind of wrecked me, but <laughs> I've seen this before and I never actually questioned it. I'm gonna go ahead and question it now. What the heck are these two alligators protecting? 
I honestly have no idea. I think it's because uh, Durkin made the map, and it's he's the the investigator, and so they are the alligators for the investigator. So just random alligators. I mean, those are they're XP. Yeah, of course. If they're not like uh, bounds to each other, I guess you could just crack shot them and get free XP. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Sure. Musket gonna get his uh, transition TP. His um. Herding is a little bit questionable, but you know, when you're going full Merc, who needs herds anyways? Yeah. Um. <laughs> and this map does have a lot of coin. Like, it, you can usually get 8,000 coin on one screen. Yeah. You can get 6,000 coin on this screen. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. So Sumas it is going to age up first, which goes to show just how slow ports are. Yeah, I mean ports they usually age up um they usually can age up pretty fast even on RE. I think it's just Sanson's macro was a little bit suspect here, honestly. Um Like chopping an extra hundred and ten wood for the early TP when you have the chest of coin. And you could just do early market, like, this doesn't really make much sense to me. Like, okay, the early TP so, isn't so, worth that much. So, Musket is going down here to get this uh, trade post. Maybe. Yeah, and he yeah, saw that he was already there. So now he has to walk all the way up here. Yeah. And I mean, that's kind of rough, but also, it doesn't really matter that much to Musket, because um, at least Sanson didn't do the smart thing, which would be to send to the to get that TP and put his explorer up here and get that one at the same time. And speaking of not doing the smart thing, I'm looking at his card order, and I don't know if I approve. He did ATP, which, I mean, that makes sense. But then he did improved buildings. <laughs> okay, well, we'll see where his other TC goes down to see how turtle he's going to play. Uh, he might actually go for an FI. You think we're going to see, like, improved buildings, colonial militia... I honestly don't know with ports. Uh, I don't really know how Sanson plays them. Um, Musket here, he's uh, he's aged up at a good time. Sanson is super late. Um, <laughs> like, full 30 seconds at this point. I um, should check and see how just how late it was. He's only just hit up at 5 minutes. That's like 45 seconds late for ports, or 40 seconds or whatever. Yeah, he was 22 seconds. No, wait, that's right. Yeah, he was 22 seconds behind Musket. Yeah. There you go. Musket's going to split the TPs, which is perfectly fine with him. Um, Zanson actually is putting this TC forward, which is kind of interesting. Um, considering he's going for improved buildings, I guess he's just trying to control the TPs a little better or something like that, but honestly, um, I don't know. <laughs> of course, knowing Musket, we see, the, uh, <laughs> we see Poacher's pub coming out. Um, <laughs> wouldn't expect anything else. Okay. Uh, Sanson's starting racks. Uh, I don't know what's going on with Sanson's build right now, honestly. Just a do as you think build. Yeah, I guess. This is a look at how strong. His, look at how strong his TPs are, though. Holy crap! <laughs> yeah, the ATP and improved building stack. <laughs> 4,750. Yeah. Uh, it's like Musket's just coming here with his own He's not really going to get it at all. Uh, and Sanson hiding his fill on the hunt over here pretty well. Hmm. 700 food is the next card that Hanson sent. So maybe this is like a version of an all in? A very defensive, delayed all in? <laughs> this is honestly super weird. Um, I mean, he's, he's got musk out. Uh, he's just said, tuggies. He just made tuggies great coming coats. out of. He did great coats in the, the the market, so he's like super defensive. Yeah, this is uh, honestly kind of strange. Um, tuggies coming in with some extra L hand of course, for musket. Of very course. standard. When you musket without tuggies. Um, CG in the trading post here. Looks like he's going to try and go for the ATP thing. I don't know how well that's going to go for him. I think Musket tries to make one thuggy every game he's in. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we can see some more thuggy coming out here. Uh, I hope he doesn't go too close to the TC. He doesn't want to... Yeah, there you go. 
called it Colonial Militia coming out. Yeah, Musket just wants to get out of there, honestly. Yeah, you don't want to fight those at all. Yeah, it's not cost effective. If he loses even yeah, he lost just like one buggy and now it's not cost effective anymore. Yeah. <laughs> That's the problem with thuggies, man. <laughs> Well, one thuggy is worth as much coin that all six of his, uh, his minimum worth. Yeah, exactly. So, if you kill one thuggy, it was basically cost effective. Mm -hmm, as far as exactly. coin goes. <laughs> I'd be interested to see if Sanson uh, shipped Colonial Militia yet, because I imagine that would probably be his next thing. Nope, he did ATP building, 700 food, and then six musk. He's got to be trying to age now, I bet, right? Um, no, I mean, he's only got 180 food, and about the same in coin. Well, RE ports, what can I say? <laughs> Still doesn't have stagecoach. Uh, he might be researching that now, maybe. Yeah, this isn't really good. Uh, look at that, that's so rough. You don't want to go under the TC with these thuggies. They just so cost ineffective. Yeah. And Musket's build is just a lot cleaner. Two uh, wagons, uh, the Palatine settlements, three wagons, and 700 coin. Just way more economic. Mm -hmm. What's the point of sending ATP when you only have two trade posts? Yeah, exactly. It's like Musket's here, gonna, he's gonna get in this racks, but honestly, like he lost. He's gonna end up losing a couple of hands and. I think he lost a thuggy for it too. And these the spies coming out from Holy crap, that's actually really bad. They can get focused down pretty fast. Oh, but the spies actually don't do very much damage to them, I don't think. Uh, the spies are 125 gold if I recall correctly. Yeah, because he's actually the thuggies don't actually count as mercenary units, so the spies don't get the bonus against them. Clap clap. Make spies. Which is how he was. <laughs> Yeah. Some musket saying what I was thinking. Um, musket, of course, now up to a fortress, so he's gonna have those insane merc shipments. That uh... <laughs> honestly, that extra spy that didn't die, he should just put in stealth mode and hide it somewhere near musket's base. Mm -hmm. yeah. Basically, he just paid 125 coin for some line of sight. Yeah, exactly. Okay, That's so he split it off. That's good, at least. Yeah. Um, Sanson still hasn't added back in this trading post, so I don't know what he's planning to go for here. I guess he wants to clear all of Musket's TPs off before he researches Stagecoach. Yeah, he has 85 wood right now, so... Mm -hmm. Plenty of settlers that he could just move a couple onto wood and get that. Mm -hmm. right, so so can, you, can you see what mercenaries are available? I imagine you must be able to. Yeah, I can. I should have checked that earlier, actually. Yeah. Uh, we have Stradiots, Yeagers, okay. Thuggies, and then the other Thuggy, that's the Marathon Decoit, or De Decoit, I don't know how you pronounce that one. Yeah, <laughs> Stradiots coming out, of course. You wouldn't expect anything else. Uh, and these scrums. Yeah. And these studies here just kind of, kind of wreck face. I'm, I'm gonna be a little bit salty towards Sanson here. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we got the spies coming in. Sanson knew this was gonna happen. Those, uh, the strategies just kind of got kind of wrecked. Oh, that's really unfortunate. But with that damage, if he just focuses on Dan, he should be okay. Come on, musket, learn to micro. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, Miniman coming out here and he's going to get a little bit caught, but it shouldn't be too bad if he just focuses the spies. I guess yeah, the, he's fine. The spies are just kind of acting as, uh, as meat shields. Yeah, basically. I mean, like, really ineffective ones, but... <laughs> but even if Hansen held off this little, this little push here, the uh, eco is 31 to 32, which is pretty even, but then military is 18 to 45. It's just the Germans get these super strong shipments, and you quickly yeah, look, get out last. Look at that. I mean, Musket. <laughs> okay, I gotta tell Musket this.
Exactly. If he does yeah, it. Exactly. If he does it, I will be pleased <laughs> at your wish. Yeah. Okay, that that means he'll have to invest four hundred wood because he doesn't have point. a barracks. Yeah. And then more wood if he actually makes use of the veteran crossbow. Of course. So I imagine we're going to see another merch shipment out of Musket in a moment here. Yeah, he has a thousand gold saved up, so I imagine we're going to see either Black Riders or Jaegers. Yeah. I would do Black Riders, honestly. Yeah, that's probably a good call. Assassin hasn't... has he shipped Colonial Militia? Yes, he has. Um, yep. This late in the game, I don't really approve of that. Yeah, I mean, like, he's basically just kind of betting that he hopefully gets a good pop out. And, and then... Can those Colonial Militia, like, wreck? that much of a military advantage. All, all Musket has to do is just walk away and come back later. Yeah, exactly. Especially when your composition is almost pure cavs, that's a pretty easy thing to do. I love cav compositions like Ulan uh, Goon, or sorry, Ulan Blackrider is really strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and for sure. The Stradiots are Stradiots. Mm -hmm. Great here, we got some more spies coming in. Ohan are like the ultimate counter to spies, honestly, though. <laughs> like, they just DPS so quickly. <laughs> they just kill the spies before the spies can do anything. Yeah, he'd be better off making goons, which, of course, he can't yeah. do because he's an age behind. Mm -hmm, precisely. Crossbow. And I don't think... <laughs> yeah. Crossbow in some house, apparently. Wait, wait a minute. Is he going to research that crossbow? <laughs> He's got the artillery foundry coming down. Oh boy. Oh no, these poor Vels. <laughs> yep, he's, he <laughs> the, did say the crossbow riders. might get them. Oh, never mind. It's, he's going to be fine. Little well, black riders coming out now. Black riders are like the best mercenary that uh, Germany gets, I think. Mm -hmm. Insanely good. Uh, what, what can he even really do at this point? He's been an age behind for so long. Yeah, I have no idea. I mean, if I was a musket here, you can probably just push that town center, obviously. Like, I mean, at this point, he's probably just waiting to bait the colonial which will pop. And now he has the three stagecoach TPs. <laughs> I yeah. think he ended up getting Xanson to research it, so... <laughs> <laughs> what was there a way to check that, I think? Let's me check. Mm. Checks completed. Yeah. I don't know if there's a way to check that. Yeah, you, you can't really, because the stagecoach upgrade shows up under, um... It, it doesn't show up in the UI for whatever reason. Oh, here we go. Here we go, boys. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going to take out the chance of the Colonial Mission even happening. <laughs> Sanson sees the, de the depetards and immediately backs off with his wills. Yeah, that's actually a really good play from Lonskid, honestly, just neutralizing even the chance. Oh, no. Holy crap, it doesn't even go down. What the hell? Yeah, Improved building's OP. <laughs> plus the Colonial Militia. I yeah. think, if I recall correctly, that actually adds... Yeah, no, it does, it's just town center attack. So it doesn't bonus the, uh, the damage. So this is kind of all about like how he micros the spies and how he micros against them, right? So those spies are just getting, yeah, as I was saying, they're just getting wrecked by the Ilhind before they can really do anything. Like, they took out the Stradiots, but not a whole lot else going for him. Kill. But more spice coming in. They might actually be able to get the Black Riders here. Oh, um, that's Oh, no, 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 no. The Black Riders running forward at the worst possible moment. <laughs> Rip. Yeah. Well, at least he got the TC, I guess. That was actually really pricey, though. Like, the number yeah. of units he spent to get that town center down. Mm-hmm, no kidding. Because what was that? Was that six petards the first time? Yeah, but I mean, if you think about positionally, like kind of how that what that buys Muscari right now is that Zanson has this left, and then he's out. True. Oh, and uh, can't forget about this. Uh, these these Ibex over here. There he goes. Zanson resigns, knows that he's screwed. Wow, Petards are 100 feet, 50 wood, right? 
All right, I'm out. And game number two goes to Sir Musket.